Historically, a modern city has sustainable infrastructure, advanced transportation, efficient public transportation, walkable and bikeable streets, and smart traffic management. The Federal Capital Territory is evolving, and under the leadership of Nyeson Wiki, the Federal Capital Territory Administration is making significant progress in developing and rehabilitating key road infrastructure projects in Abuja. This has continued to be applauded by citizens, especially motorists, who now have alternative and decongested routes. Are you a resident of the FCT or visiting? I believe you know what I'm talking about. Welcome to 30 Minutes on NTA News 24. I'm Lydia Samson. A cutting razor by Stephen Wokulu has highlights of road projects in the FCT and the inauguration of these roads. This feature takes a look at the role of the FCT Minister Nyeson Wiki and key stakeholders including President Bola Chinumbu. Over to you, Stephen. Federal Capital Territory FCT have been witnessing massive road infrastructural drive since the coming on board of the FCT Minister Nyeson Wiki. In the past one year, several critical road projects across various areas of Abuja are ongoing, while some have been completed and inaugurated. This effort, according to the minister, is aimed at enhancing connectivity, improve transportation, and promote economic growth across the FCT and the environs. These projects, spanning both urban and rural communities, underscore the administration's commitment to ensuring that all parts of the FCT are accessible and well connected. Some of the completed and inaugurated roads include the 3.5 km interchange way, named after the renowned playwright Professor Wale Suinka, inaugurating the road which also connects Kuba Expressway to Amadubelo Way. President Bola Ahmed Tinubu says it is an indication of his administration's infrastructural renewal. This is our foremost playwright, novelist. Nobel Prize winner, who has brought Nigeria um, a pride of international acclaim. For anybody to challenge you in FCT, it is very, very difficult. Very, very difficult. Well, I, I, dare, I dare say so, because um, the facts are there. The things are there. It's not about theory now. It's about the reality. You say you will do this. Have you done it? Yes. Other major inaugurated road is the Independence Road, awarded in 2007 at the cost of 48.5 billion naira, but reviewed in 2021 to 98.8 billion naira. The Senate President, Goswil Akbabu, while speaking at the inauguration ceremony, expresses the National Assembly's readiness to work with the executive to realize the dividends of democracy. As we commission this strategy goals, we are not just opening pathways of asphalt and concrete, we are also paving the way to enhance economic activities, improve accessibility, and a higher quality of life for our citizens. Yes. What we have close to the main carriageways are to allow in future for the retinue of traffic circulation using mass transit bus system. Former President Goodluck Ebele Jonathan's Road is amongst the inaugurated roads, awarded in 2010 at the cost of 17 billion naira, but reviewed to 18 billion naira, stretches to Kuje while linking Nyanya and Kefi even as it connects the Mogadishu Army Cantonment. Vice President, who was at the inauguration ceremony, says the effort is to bridge the gap between the urban and the rural setting. The extension of the ISEX represents more than just a road. It symbolizes connectivity, accessibility, and opportunity. It signifies our annual building determination to bridge the gap between urban and rural areas ensuring that development is not confined to city centers, but reaches every corner of our great nation. And Hydro have made this project a resounding success, benefiting everyone who calls our city home. Also inaugurated is the six lanes dual carriageway that links Jahi, Katampe, and Mabushi, as well as the Sukuku Ebo 
Yangoji Road in Kwale Area Council. It is an 11-kilometer rural road that connects Sukuku, Ebo, and Yangoji communities in the Kwale Area Council. This road is expected to significantly improve access to these rural areas, facilitating the movement of people and goods. It will also provide these communities with better access to essential services, markets, and economic opportunities, thereby boosting local development. This is not the only road we are doing in Kwadi. The Chama has announced the one that are going to flag off soon. There's another one that's going on in Kwadi too. So in essence, in this one year, this year alone, Kwadi will have not less than three roads. The second phase of the project, just for the purpose of mentioning, actually takes off is an ongoing contract which is currently being handled by another contractor that is CGC and takes to somewhere around Ring Road 2, which we popularly call Galaji Maron about it stretches over a distance of about eleven kilometers. So that's when the, that road has been abandoned. We have lost hope that the people of that area council, that road between Kwame and Kuze we have a great hope for giving this road for another new phase. The new road will significantly improve access to various parts of the area council, linking Pali Town with already developed new layout. Other road infrastructural developments include the Buare 7.2 kilometer road. This project is essential for improving access within the Buare Area Council, which is home to many educational institutions, including the Nigerian Law School. The new road will facilitate easier movement for students, residents, and businesses, thereby contributing to the social economic development of the area. Development Authority has a mindset a mindset of success in whichever position he finds himself. So it's that mindset that is driving him. So he's already made up his mind that Abuja should take a new look. Abuja, the roads in Abuja, should come to the state of a federal capital. Not just roads. You can see the street lights. You can see the quality of the roads he's doing is better than the quality of previous roads. So somebody with that mindset is, is what you are seeing. So he, he has a mindset. When he was Minister of State for uh, Education, he had that mindset to, you know, leave legacy things. He's always interested in leaving, you know, legacies. You know, putting down things that we say we can pass through this place. So that is it. So his mindset. So he has a mindset to to, to be a transformational leader. And once you have that mindset that I want to be a transformational leader, finish. So the roads he's doing, other construction, his, you know, other uh, structures, infrastructural development. So it's what we call infrastructural revolution. That is what is taking place in Abuja. Infrastructural revolution. Just like it's taking place in my state, Enugu, you know, through Pitamba, you know. So that is what we are seeing. And it's, I'm not surprised that Wike, who has that mindset to transform any place he stays, you know, is doing that. And we expect more from him. Once he continues to get the support of Mr. President, you'll see that Abuja will start very soon. We look like Dubai of Africa. Yes. No doubt he has impacted positively especially to the residents of the Federal Capital Territory in terms of infrastructural development. Uh, wherever you pass within the city, you will find his uh, imprint clearly written there. These are the type of people that we want. These projects are part of a broader initiative to upgrade and expand the road network in the FCT, ensuring that both urban and rural areas are adequately serviced by modern transportation infrastructure. Uh, he's just about nine months in office, and I think uh, for those of us who are realists, okay, I'm speaking from the position of a realist. I have been in government, and I know what it is to assess someone who is a public officer. So far, about Mr. Uke, so good. Uh, I think uh, if it is to give him a percentage score, I think Mr. Uke so far has scored 
tremendously at least we can give him 70 percent out of 100. it means if you have 70 in your first year in a class or in a school basically in your second year third year we should be you know recording up to 90 percent or 95 percent so so far so good as far as i'm concerned he has done so well in both aspect of uh, uh, development infrastructurally and uh, of course in continuation of project that he made on ground this try the one that i saw now because i can see many roads now they are there are lots of many roads now many abado road when they pass by government abado the way they have started it now the see we can have is a pdp member and we are in the APC party. You see, it's a collab. It does not matter where you're coming from. What matters is what you impact in the society. People might be calling you different names and you're doing the right thing. Just keep doing the right thing. But when you leave the office, people will see the impact. The completion and inauguration of these road projects are expected to have a profound impact on the FCT, improved road infrastructure, lead to better connectivity between communities, reduce travel time, and lower transportation costs. This will not only enhance the quality of life for residents, but also stimulate economic activities by making it easier to transport goods and services across the territory. The Abuja light rail system, which had been non-operational since early 2020 due to the pandemic, has also seen significant progress in rehabilitation under the WK-led FCT. Now, many in the FCT, on the directive of Preston Bola Tinumbu, are enjoying free rides on the Abuja light rail system. They are sharing their experiences and views on the magnanimity of the government and how it is impacting their lives. They spoke with correspondent Thomas Ogbeteri. On May 29, 2024, the Abuja Rail Mass Transit System commenced free operation in Abuja, the capital of Nigeria. This comprises two lines with a total length of 42.5 kilometers and 12 stations. President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, early this year, approved the extension of the free train ride on the Abuja Rail Mass Transit, also called the Metro Rail, till the end of the year. The president approved the free ride during his address at the inauguration of the commencement of operations of the Abuja Metro Rail. Some residents of FCT who have been enjoying the free train services since it began expressed their commendation and appreciation to the federal government. It is actually interesting and uh, today I decided to bring out my kids to enjoy the rides like an excursion. There are four boys. We rode from Kubwa Bazango precisely to Idu Airport, Airport back to Metro, and now we are going back to Idu, Idu back to, to Bazango. The experience is beautiful. Mm -hmm. The site is warming, and the children are learning a lot. Like we have agreed, they are going to write an essay on it and tell us what their experience is like, the different stations they stopped at, and uh, what we actually enjoyed. Since 30th of May, when I heard the announcement on TV, and then the proximity to my house. So I started following them to work. And luckily my office is like 200 Naira away from the metro station. So for me, ordinarily I used to spend 1,300 going, 1,300 coming, that's 2,600. Now I spend 400, that's like 2,200 everyday savings. And for me, that was a big relief. Actually, I started uh, entering the team from uh, first week of June, every day to work. It's, it has been a joyful uh, journey to work. Even days that I <clears throat> had supposed to go to work, I just come to admire the train and take myself to work. It has been a good time for me. In fact, these are the best days of my life in Abuja because of the beautiful ride we take to work. You can see I've, I just closed and I'm here already for the 5.30, so I'm waiting for it, looking around and waiting for the, the right one. This is the first time I'm using the train and it's a fun experience. If they continue doing like this for like a few times, maybe once or twice, it will boost people more to come use the train. I know I save a lot and uh, 
you know, apart from savings, uh, you know, a lot of people are benefiting from it because it saved them the cost of transportation, going to their various places of works. And the safety also is there. It's fast because at least it's 40 minutes from airport to metro here. So we have been enjoying it. Thank you very much, um, Tinubu, for the experience. A free ride to Idu and back to Abuja Metro. The Abuja Light Rail, also known as Abuja Rail Mass Transit, is the first rapid transit system in Nigeria. As part of the opinion that the Abuja Light Rail Metro system is a groundbreaking development in Nigeria, representing a significant step in the modernization of the public transportation in the country. When people are not talking, you know, Nigeria, I had to see that when, we're, when things are okay, we hardly talk. So when people are not shouting because they are uncomfortable, eh? when they are not comfortable, they shout. So when you don't hear who shout again, and I have a good who oh, no, 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 sorry, I can't see you. I just must go now. If not, I will get stuck in traffic. If that has stopped, you see people taking their time and then even if you see, the, you know, the, the road system has helped a lot. And the road work that has been in the city also, the connection that has been run recently, they have also helped. If you recall, in those days, I was going to the forest, and you are going to the to Kubwa. The option is just to go towards Ring Road 1. You know, you start going to Metama, to go and link up. But now, you have the option, there are so many options. You can go on, if you are, for instance, Minister of Women Affairs, you can just take the good Lord Jonathan way and then come down around the barracks and go here on the highway to uh, Kubwa. So there are many options now that are available. And that is what modern transportation system uh, encourages. With the introduction of the red um, transport system in FCT, it has helped to uh, alleviate uh, some of the suffering and some of the pains of um, our people. I want to really commend the federal government for actually introducing that. And then also the road networks, uh, I want to say the minister have really done well. According to these experts, the rail system enhances the city's connectivity, traffic congestion, and promotes sustainable urban development. Driving to the rail uh, station, they are already uh, free. You are going to the airport, the same thing is free. Unlike those where people, so people look for look for options. Oh, some will say, okay, let's go on the as if, uh, go on the, go to airport road, come down after ICPC, and join a, a Ring Road One before they go to go to join on the which is the road to Kubwa. But today, that has been easy. You have so many options. That's why the city is not. You don't hardly find congestions again. Close that you see before they reiterated that the Abuja Light Rail stands as a symbol of progress, connectivity, inclusivity, signifying government's determination to modernize the transportation infrastructure, reduce traffic congestion, and enhance accessibility for residents and visitors within and outside Abuja. There is no case of somebody uh, missing your flight because somebody has blocked the road or that there is a heavy traffic on the road or something. You don't have that problem. So you drive, and the way it lands you at the airport is at the point where you just come down and you are going to check in. So it makes life really easy for people. People are enjoying it. In spite of the rail having pickup points, all ancillary roads to the four main stations and car parks are already constructed and delivered. Expert and other respondents are calling on the federal government and the Federal Capital Territory Administration to extend and expand the rail services to more places within Abuja. A lot of people that tend to you know, make use of the rail, they, don't, uh, uh, they are not um, opportune because uh, there are still not enough uh, uh, routes for the railway system. I think they should connect, connect this rail system to um, other areas, it could make um, transportation and cost of transportation uh, go down in FCT. If this uh, metro train could go around the whole of Abuja, it would be really, really, it would be a relief 
to civil servants, business persons as well, because we stay in Duse, and from Duse we have to take a bike. A bike to Bazango is almost a thousand naira, and uh, we now bought the train down to this place. I think it's not really economical, so I want to plead with the government that if they could actually, when they want to fix price, they could actually consider the masses. Secondly, if they could also link it from Bazango to uh, Biaji, Biaji through uh, the barracks, Mpape uh, Aziz, Mpape Aziz to Nyanya Maraba, I think it will do a lot of uh, reduction of hardship for the populace within Abuja metropolis. My worry sometimes when I bought the vehicle is places like Nyanya should also be involved in things like this. Because for now it looks like we from Kubu Arab Road and Day Day are actually the only persons enjoying this thing the most because the other stations are in the bush where houses are not close by. And so for me it has been wonderful. And for the kids and people around my area, you can see my son here. I took off time today to take them to the airport and because they'll be resuming very soon, all of them are happy. You discover that sometimes when train is moving, will be marching break, which is not good. And we discover that either a cow is passing, or maybe even human being cross is crossing the rail. They have done a good, you know, they have invest. It's a very good uh, investment. Why can't they protect it? Use a German fence outside so that nothing can cross. It will help. The consensus is that the unveiling of the rail project has provided relief to commuters, encouraged greater use of the metro rail system, enhanced intermodal connectivity, and reduces transportation costs in the Federal Capital Territory. The transformative impact of roads and the rail system has been immense in recent times. The impact of these changes on Abuja residents, its environs and on visitors cannot be overemphasized. It is clear that the FCT is indeed evolving and if the tempo is sustained, the city can compete with other cities in the world. Thanks for watching. I'm Lydia Samson.